what is growing on? Ron here, aka Red Dove from Live Ocean Grown. We're doing another DIY today, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. We've been asked a lot lately, how in the world are you guys getting so many tilapia? That's just right there, just came from one mother's mouth. Yeah, from a 12 by 12 room with only, what do we have, I don't know, about three to 400 gallons of fish tanks in here. Well, the secret is the call ball egg rocker, egg tumbler, whatever you want to call it. And we have some eggs that we're going to put in there. We got some that are already tumbling and our success rate somewhere around 90-95% and I think that 5-10% to is lost sometimes by stripping of the mother's mouth. The eggs weren't good to begin with but this thing right here, this product rocks and it does exactly what it says, higher hatch rates. I shouldn't say highest hatch rates but I'm sure they can't say that for marketing reasons but we're going to get going right now. We're going to do an unboxing of it and a setup of it. We're going to do a stripping of a mother's mouth and we're also going to um, put the eggs in there, start tumbling them, show you the proper um, amount of air to get in there, how to tumble them and all that type of stuff. So let's get rocking or tumbling. All of our parts and pieces, we are going to stand up the main hatching chamber. It has self-standing feet and a round bottom for smooth airflow. This is the main hatching chamber, which uh, all the eggs are going to be down here on the bottom and they're going to tumble around. And you'll see once we get this little bad boy all set up. You have the downspout assembly, which is this whole piece right here. It has a sponge on the top to collect any debris that happen to make it up the downspout. It has a nice little stainless steel screen in there, which is awesome because it's definitely would be reusable and it needs to be stainless steel so that it doesn't rust. So the sponge goes, fits right on there. You're gonna stick this downspout assembly into the top of the main chamber. Then you have the uplift tube assembly, which is gonna go down onto the top of the upper tube assembly. You have an air diffuser that's reusable because it's not an air stone that we normally would um, call it, which is awesome because it can be reusable. And then you have, they don't even call this piece anything, but I'm just gonna call it an air um, diverter because it's not going to allow a whole lot of air to come up through here, which is going to make the eggs um, and the adjustment of it a lot finer adjustment so that they tumble exactly the way that you want them to. So that's going to slide in, there's a hole in there, you're going to slide the air tube through that hole, attach your air diffuser, basically you're going to stick it down into that upper assembly and then kind of slide that, everything goes together nice and easy. It would normally take about, I don't know, 30 seconds to put this thing together. Then you have the adjustable valve, which is really cheap, so um, if you don't want any malfunctions or anything, I would definitely replace this with a metal um, air valve or if you have some type of a um, set up on your air um, that's metal, which let me see, I got uh, uh, basically a manifold, an air manifold. I would definitely use that, and we will be using that today as we have one. So, so the only downside of this whole thing is I don't trust this plastic piece. If it fails and the eggs start going crazy when you're not home, you're done. You just lost hundreds of eggs. And then you have your base, which has four suction cups on it, and they're nice suction cups, um, which is brilliant so that this thing doesn't fall out of your uh, off the side of your tank. And then what's even cooler is this thing snaps together on there, and you have to push this to release it from your base. So if this thing happens to get too much air or fails, starts floating all over the tank, you lose your eggs, but this one actually locks into the base. So that's it for the whole assembly, and we're going to go clean it with a bunch of dechlorinated water and vinegar, and we'll be right back and put some, strip a mother's mouth, strip a mother's mouth, strip a mother's mouth, and put some eggs in there and let you see how we set up to start tumbling or rocking those eggs. see all those little eggs down there so I'm going to show you something right now that's absolutely critical 
that you do. And if you don't do it, you're going to be using that turkey baster and go fishing for hundreds and hundreds of eggs. So on the instru in the instructions, on step number five, it says place egg rocker into aquarium and remove any trapped air from inside the main hatching chamber by slightly lifting down spout assembly to allow air to leak out. Do not do that. What's going to happen is you're going to put this on there, you're going to put it in a tank, and you're going to lift it up, and all of that air pressure that you that just got trapped in here is going to expel all of those eggs into the tank. Do not do that. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So this um, egg tumbler or main chamber right now is full of air. It is at the above the water level of the tank. So what I'm going to do is, and if you want to put more water in there, use a cup. All of the eggs are down on the bottom right now, or use the turkey baster to fill it all the way up to the top. So you're going to put the upper assembly on. Make sure that it, the cap is all the way on and it, you'll feel it there's a little seal on there so get it on there nice and tight make sure that it's in the base and it's clipped in which this one was not so make sure it's nice and clipped in and then the air is on on my uh, manifold so i'm going to make sure that the air right now is on my um, egg rocker right now by hearing the air hiss all right so i hear it hissing and now I'm going to make sure that the whole thing is on, that this upper assembly is on, that the air diffuser is down into the tank. And then I'm going to basically just slide the whole thing down into the tank. And as you can see, as soon as the air diffuser reached below the water line, it started to bubble. The lower I get it down, the more pressure is in that bottom chamber and the eggs start to tumble. I'm gonna show you a close up real quick. All right, I'm holding the flashlight so you guys can see the eggs. Uh, for one, that is way too high. You gotta turn it down quickly, otherwise um, you, you're, you're gonna damage the eggs if they're tumbling like that. You just basically want them to, so that's the air is all the way off. And I'm using the cheap plastic air valve right now. I, I am going to take this off when I'm done and use my actual air manifolds. So, but this is just to show you guys how to get those eggs to start tumbling. You can see as it starts to open up, the eggs start tumbling around. You open it up a little bit more. The goal is to get every egg, to basically use a tumbling motion like this, to get those eggs to move around the bottom of that chamber as minimally as possible but move. The goal of the egg tumbler is to mimic the mother's mouth. Keep bacteria and any other type of, you know, um, disease or fungus from getting onto the eggs for their highest success rate. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a couple white ones in there. Um, those eggs are dead. The eggs need to be yellow or like a yellowish brown color. So let's get this thing. So that's getting close. I just want to bounce them basically. But there's a lot of eggs in here, so. There's... That's a little bit high. That's about it right there. That's how you want it to be. What's up guys, quick update. How to grow quicker, healthier tilapia. You gotta put them in a strength and conditioning program, man. Put them in the egg tumbler and put the egg tumbler all the way up as high as it'll go. Just kidding. Quick update on the sack fry. Eh, we lost about more than 15% this time. I don't know what happened. A lot of the eggs got stuck together. Um, but these are the healthy ones going strong in the strength and conditioning program 50 to 100 push-ups a day all right so i've transferred the eggs that turned into sack fry that are now into baby fry from this tank which had two Caldwell egg rockers in it and it's going to go over to this tank right here. If you notice that I have the egg rocker 
just above the water level and we're going to introduce the fish into their new 20 gallon grow out tank and then eventually transfer it to the big pond. So we're gonna go through those steps right now. All right, so if you notice, you can see the, they're not even sack fry anymore now that they are regular fry. They're swimming up to the top of the egg rocker all by themselves. Now that you know when they swim up to the top of the egg rocker all by themselves that they're ready to go into a tank, you don't need to create air bubbles to get them to basically move around and not get their saps stuck together. So you're gonna use your turkey baster again. The water in this tank and the water in this egg rocker is about 7.1 pH and it's the same temperature, but the chemistry is definitely off. So this turkey baster has been cleaned with vinegar and water. I'm just gonna suck out a little of the water out of the egg rocker without sucking any of the babies up. Just get rid of it into that water. And I'm just gonna do the opposite now. So I'm gonna take water out of this tank, the 20 gallon grow out tank, and put it in to the egg rocker about one at a time. And I'm gonna do about three or four of this and then eventually just dump the egg rocker down into the tank and let them swim free in their new tank. That's it for transferring the fish from the egg rocker into their new environment. Obviously, if you're just letting them go into the same tank that they were in, you don't have to do this, but we have too many babies and they need to be transferred to the bigger tanks. All right, so the final dunk. Basically, I'm just gonna push the egg tumbler down below the water level and then kind of let them just swim out on their own into the tank. So they like to swim to the top anyway, and there they go into their new tank. So hopefully we've shown you how to set up the cold bowl egg tumbler, egg rocker, so that you have, um, in about two or three weeks, you got a couple hundred um, tilapia or whatever you're breeding that look like this. And uh, these guys are nice and healthy, 90-95% success rate. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, comment, like, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. LiveOceanGrown.com, Red Dove, signing out.